All right, so in today's video, I'm going to cover uh, doing a rear wiper delete on this 2001 S4 Avant. Um, I'm doing it for two reasons, actually. I, I like the look, of the clean look of not having a rear wiper, number one. Number two, I don't really use it. I, I really don't use this one because it doesn't work. Unbeknownst to me, I bought this car um, several years ago, and I had never been, I never had a wagon, and I did not know how to turn the, the wiper, the rear wiper on. I kept trying it, I was looking it up online, and everything that I saw, it said to use the right stalk, push it or pull it. Mine didn't move at all. Turns out, somebody must have put a steering column in it from a sedan, and it didn't have a rear wiper switch built into it. So this one has never worked since I've had the car, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. Uh, I just wanna cover a little video on how to do it. So basically, I bought this kit, I forget who I bought this from. I've had it for a while, but it's a, uh, I guess that's the brand Velt Sport. Um, it's just consists of a little aluminum black, polished black with some fingerprints on it now, but um, cap, and then it's threaded onto, if I can do this with one hand. So you can see there's an O-ring right here, and then of course it's threaded here. So basically the this cap is gonna go on the outside of the glass and then this little nut will thread on from the inside so hopefully when we get it apart this the hole in the glass is the right size for this but i feel like this is kind of a universal thing but uh anyway i'm going to get it um go ahead and take show the steps to getting the wiper off the uh trim panel and the cover all right so first thing uh that we need to do here uh is pull this cap off uh, this gives to gets us access to the nut that holds the wiper blade on the actual arm. So you can usually just like get your fingernail under here and twist it and pull. It just has these little lock tabs that hold it on. Um, of course, you can see there's rust there. It's an old vehicle, so that's what happens. So uh, I'm going to spray a little WD-40 on here, loosen this up, and not take the nut all the way off, just loosen it. And then with my hand, just kind of like pull up and gently tap on the stud here to try to break this seal. Um, sometimes you can lift the wiper blade up and kind of like smack it right here. That way it it, it kind of just breaks the taper. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. It depends on, on how uh, how tough it is, to, you know, how long it's been on there and how rusty it is. You're probably wondering why I have a heat gun. Well, even with that nut loose, NWD-40 on it and smacking it right here it would not budge uh, I ended up having to loosen the bolts on the inside to hold the motor on and then just that way it would it would go down some and then loosen this nut left it a little bit loose and then just held this heat iron heat gun right in the middle there and just kept concentrating heat on it and then of course I had to be careful not to get the glass hot and then uh, with this little chisel and hammer just gently tapped it right in the middle and got it to break free. So now it's loose. Now it can continue on. All right, so the arm is off. Got some 21 years worth of crap growing underneath of it, or 22, 21, sorry. Um, so as I said, I, I got lost in the moment because I was trying to get this off. So I didn't, I forgot to show the step where I removed this cover, but it's honestly just it's just these little snaps or these little clips. So you just grab the edges carefully and pull it down. It is an older car, so things do crack, so just be careful. Um, and once you have that cover off, that exposes this nut, this nut, and this one. These are the only three that hold this thing on. Uh, the only thing you have to disconnect is the electrical connector right here from the motor right there. And then this just pulls right off. This is for the washer. Um, so you're going to have to obviously cap this or disconnect it from the pump, whatever you want to do there. Uh, I'm not going to cover that in this video. I'm just going to show the installation process of, of this. So technically, this motor should come off. If I did this correct, yes. All right, so the motor's out. There's the hole. Let's see if this plug fits. So it looks like it's gonna work. Um, this looks to, to be the right size. And like I said, you have this little O-ring on here. That's to take place of this gasket. 
uh, because this gasket has to come off. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and push, basically you're just gonna push it back through the hole, just like that, uh, and then clean this all up really well, and then um, go ahead and install it. All right, so I've wiped it down as best I could. A lot of this um, is just kind of like etched into the glass. This spot actually looks like where the wiper arm actually dug into the glass at some point. Um, so this this has, once you take everything off, the big O-ring, the nut, there's, it's not focusing here, but there's this little raised rubber area here. This acts as your gasket for the outside. So this is gonna drop in like this, and then I'm gonna go inside, push this O-ring on, and then this nut and thread it on. There's no hex or anything. You're just gonna have to, I mean, should be able to grab a hold of it with a pair of channel locks. It's soft, so the teeth should dig in, and it doesn't need to be super tight. All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Uh, you can't see it, but the big fat O-ring is, is right here, getting sandwiched. So it seals up basically on the outside, and then I guess as a, as a second layer of protection, there's that big O-ring there. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn this. You can't see in the video, but there's there's a little bit of pressure on it. As it as it starts to compress the O-ring, it's getting a little tighter. I'm just gonna go a little bit more. And it looks like, yeah, the O-ring is kind of squeezing out of the side, so I went too tight. So I'm gonna loosen it back up. Give that close this up and give it a little spray with some water and make sure this thing doesn't leak. All right, it's all assembled here. I'm gonna go ahead and just. I've already been spraying some, but I'll spray some more on it. I'm not spray dump. I'm trying to simulate a soaking rain. Worst possible scenario, so I don't have to take it back apart when it leaks. So I'm gonna let that drip dry a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and pop this rear gate and make sure it's it's dry on the inside. And there it is. It's dry. This is on the outside. Completely dry, so should be good. I think I might leave this cover off for a few days. Um, and we're supposed to get some rain here in a couple of days, just to double check. I think it's going to be fine, but I just I'd rather I'd feel better about being able to keep an eye on it before I put it all back together. Um, I will also have to cap off this uh, washer line here and tidy up these wires here I guess where the motor used to set so um, that's about it but yeah it's a pretty clean I like the look overall thanks for watching